Hi, and welcome back to Unlock Your Bible, the show where the Bible is taught in a plain and clear way for all to understand. I'm your Bible teacher, Ron Knight, and I, and I ask that you get your King James Bible, a pen and a piece of paper to take notes because I want you to join us in our study in the book of Galatians. My friend, for a few weeks now, we've been going through the book of Galatians verse by verse. I chose this book because it teaches us as members of the body of Christ the difference between the law of God to the nation of Israel and the grace of God for us today. Uh, the books of Genesis through Acts, what Paul the apostle to us Gentiles calls time past. It deals with the nation of Israel through Moses and the prophets. It talks about God's law and prophetic program and his earthly kingdom he will one day set up. In the but now, through the cross work of Christ, which is the center of everything God has in his scriptures, it's the present. It's the books of Romans through Philemon, Paul's 13 books, which are written about the grace message. Paul calls it the mystery of Christ, Romans 16, 25, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 6 and 7. It's to the Gentiles. Everyone's a Gentile today, even the nation of Israel. Jew, individual Jews have have. A, a, a way that they can come to God, and that's through the cross work of the Lord Jesus Christ, by believing that Christ died on the cross to pay for their sins, was buried, and rose again. God is no longer dealing with nation, with, the, with Israel as a nation today, for a season, okay, and for a reason. But one day, after he finishes with us, and by the way, the heavenly kingdom, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. The nation of Israel will rule and reign with Christ on earth, and the body of Christ, the church, the body of Christ, a new um, body of people started with the Apostle Paul in Acts 9, we will be the ones who reign with Christ in the heavenly places. But once this dispensation of grace is over, by something called the rapture of the church, the body of Christ, 1 Thessalonians 4, God will again, according to his promises to the nation of Israel's fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he will continue and give them their earthly kingdom. Now, those are the future. Uh, Genesis through Acts is time passed to Israel in your Bible. Romans through Philemon are what God is doing today, the 13 letters of the Apostle Paul. And Hebrews through Revelation are future. It's, to Jew it's the Jewish apostles speaking about the law and prophecy to the nation of Israel, believing Israel, and telling them that they will one day get their earthly kingdom and how to go in there. God is, has put Israel on hold for a moment, Romans 11, 25. Paul says he doesn't want us to be ignorant of this mystery, what God is doing today. Because blindness in part has happened to Israel because of unbelief on, on Christ until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in and then shall all believing Israel be saved. And see, to rightly divide the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2, 15 in your King James Bible is the key to understanding your Bible. When Paul says to rightly divide the word of truth, that means to separate past, present, and future to understand the Bible. Now, if you study the Bible dispensationally, past, present, and future, you'll understand your Bible. That's why we study the book of Galatians, because it's one of Paul's epistles to us today. Now, my friend, if you're tired of religion, the treadmill of religion, then Paul's epistles are for you. The Apostle Paul is the apostle to us Gentiles, but he preaches a grace message. Now, religion has to do with the law of Moses, but God says in Romans 6, verse 14, we're not under the law, we're under grace, and that's, that's why Paul is in your Bible. If you're tired of that religious treadmill, trying to please God in your own strength, knowing that you can't keep God's perfect law perfectly, see, that's what sin is, that's what trespass is, that it's, not be, it's missing the mark. It's not being able to please God in your own performance, where when you get tired of that, or if you're tired, Come over to what the Apostle Paul says God is doing today, and it's grace. Grace is all that God is free to do for you through the shed blood of his son at Calvary. Through the cross work of Christ, God has set you free to just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and allow his life to be the issue, okay? Well, that's what Paul is explaining to the Galatians. Look at chapter 4 as we pick up in our text, 4 verse 19. Chapter 4 of Galatians, verse 19. Paul says, My little children of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. If you've been with us in the past studies, you see that the Galatians had left the doctrine which was committed to them from the Apostle Paul, the doctrine they originally believed to be saved. My friend, if you're saved today, if you have sins forgiven 
and eternal life as a free gift by, from God, it's because you believe the preaching of Christ according to the mystery that Paul preached. You believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, a message you will only find in the letters of the Apostle Paul. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 and 4, Paul says, Christ died to pay for our sins, was buried and rose again. And if you believe that message, that's salvation, okay? Well, the, God saved you so that he can do something with you. Look what Paul says. Verse 19, Galatians 4, 19. My little children, of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. You see, when you get saved, God intends to do something with you. When you get saved, he's not trying to get you to work to, work to please him. I mean... In your flesh, you couldn't work to please God. That's why Christ had to die for you. But even after salvation, God is not asking you to for your good works, because guess what? Your good works can't save you and they can't keep you saved. They can't please God. It has to be Christ in you that pleases God. See, God has centered everything in his son and his cross work. So even after salvation, God wants you to take the 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 words of the word of Christ through the Apostle Paul's letters, Roman through Philemon. And put that in and renew your mind and pray and pray it into your heart. So then you'll be able to walk pleasing to God. Then it'll be God. It'll be Christ in you, which worketh and Christ that willeth. And it'll be Christ working in you through the letters of the Apostle Paul. That's how you please God. Look at what he says. My little children of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. These these people of, of Galatia, they had the truth. But as, as you see, read uh, chapters one through four, they left the Apostle Paul. They left the truth. And he says, uh, he says, I travail in birth again. Paul birthed them, as it were. He's the one who gave them the gospel of the grace of God. He, he taught them that he was their apostle. He taught them the grace message, the mystery of Christ, and they received it gladly at first. <laughs>